Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and you're ready for question 12 on our 2012 Cayley Math Contest. The point PQ is on the line Y equals 2 fifths X as shown. Also, the area of the rectangle shown is 90. What is the value of P? Okay. Now, because P and Q are on this line, well, P is the y-coordinate, Q is, sorry, P is the x-coordinate, Q is the y-coordinate, I can tell you a nice little relationship that they must have. Okay. PQ is on that line, Q must be two-fifths P. Okay. But we can, we can learn something else. We're talking about this rectangle here. What's the height of this rectangle? Well, that's going to be the y-coordinate. That's going to be how far this point is above the x-axis. That's what the y-coordinate does. So it's q, or 2 fifths p. That's the, the height of this rectangle. And the width here is how far we are away from the x-axis, and that's going to be p. So now I know the height, I know the width. I can work out the area. Well, they told me the area of this rectangle is 90 we can calculate it a different way in terms of p. And the reason we're solving for p rather than, or we're, we're putting everything in terms of p rather than q is because they're asking me, well, what's the value of p? If they'd asked for q, we would have written this as q and we would have rearranged this expression to make this 5 halves times q. Okay? So here we go. We got 90 is 2 fifths p squared. Multiply by 5 on both sides. Uh, divide by 2, and uh, we'll get uh, 45 multiplied by 5, so we'll get uh, 225 is p squared. Let's take the square root. p is either going to be 15 or minus 15, but we can tell from the picture that p is over here. We're in the first quadrant. Both the coordinates are positive, so we just need positive 15. Positive 15, that's going to be D. If you're curious, um, Q would then be 6. Okay, but we didn't ask for Q, we asked for P. And so that's an answer of D. And there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Now uh, feel free to like or subscribe if you want to be kept up to date. If you ever have a different way to approach a question, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time.